Easton family to know that they are surrounded by love and support. And Easton wasn't a bunny, but he will definitely be cherished. He's one of many people wrapping her arms around the Wilsey family during an unimaginable time. Their nine-year-old son was hit and killed by a train last month. Good evening, I'm Amanda Brennan. The accident happened in Royal at Main Street and Railroad Street in September. Easton Wilsey was riding his bike to school. Today, friends, family, and people who didn't even know him came together honoring him with the game he loved. WCI3's Jamal Williams is with us. So Jamal, how did this idea all come about? Well, Amanda, it all started when one board member with Fisher's Junior Football League heard the news. She's friends with the Wilsey family and wanted to use today's games as a backdrop to honor him. She knows this unexpected death was a tragedy and is showing the power of stepping up during an emotional time like this one. It broke our hearts. I think every parent's worst nightmare. Joy Howell, a Fisher Bunny board member, will always remember the day the unexpected happened. Nine-year-old Easton Wilsey was hit and killed by a train in September in Royal. Her son played in the same junior football league as him. Easton was an all-around athletic kid between football and wrestling. He just never found a sport he didn't love. She says it's hard to fathom what the family was going through. He loved the sport itself and, you know, the, the contact and the relationship he had with his dad and that his dad was his coach. So, how organized this weekend's football games to help the Easton's legacy live on. So, we just, we wanted to do anything and everything that we could to help. Howell says her personal connection to the family made the decision a no-brainer. People came from towns like St. Joseph, Paxton, and Farmer City for the event. It was complete with food, clothes, a raffle, and several gift baskets, all raising money for the Wilsies. Easton's uncle Chad Duncan says the last few weeks have been rough, and the outpouring of love from others is a blessing. Uh, the fact that not only our, our community and then uh, help and support from all the surrounding communities coming together uh, means a lot that we're not just alone with our one town. We've got surrounding towns to help us out. Howell hopes this will help the Wilsey family heal from the tragedy and says this event can serve as an example people can follow about being there for others. When communities come together, we can do so much. And although we can't take away the family's pain, we can help in other ways. And just to let the whole family know that they're not alone. Al says money raised at the JV varsity and football games will also go help towards helping the family. So far, they've raised more than $2,500. Amanda? Jamal, thank you.